as of now there have been two processes I've been seeing one is a biological sequestration and is a geological sequestration geological sequestration has been abundant because in geological sequestration you absorb the carbon dioxide and bury it but that can be released at a later date so that really doesn't solve our purpose so we are now focusing only on the biological sequestration and reuse on reusable resources or renewable resources so biological sequestration the only standard accepted thing is that of the plant community a plant or a tree that absorbs carbon dioxide and releases oxygen and the carbon is stored as wood or the biomass the carbon is stored as biomass in the earth. so as long as a tree or its tree community or the forest is absorbing carbon dioxide then we are actually it's a carbon sink now we have to made up in paris our commitment in the forestry sector that we will be sequestering 2.5 to 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide in the forests how to do yeah, as of now the rough estimate is that we have 9 billion tons of carbon stock in our forests so there are two things one is that we enrich our forests because our forest is 24% is the forest cover of the or tree cover in the country we have to grow beyond that and this tree cover it is not the quantitative increase in tree cover that is important it is the qualitative tree cover that is important that is the dense forest should become very dense open forest should become dense carbon sequestered in a well managed plantation is about 1 ton per acre per year if you compare the the carbon dioxide released by a thermal power plant the carbon dioxide released by one single thermal power plant would require plantation over let us say 12% of the area of the state like odisha to offset that balance so that is not a thing we are actually not saying that we'll absorb all the carbon dioxide possible it's not a theoretical possible so we may have to think of other biological means of sequestration incidentally when i was a member of the state pollution control board and we are i was one of the authors or participants in preparing the climate change action plan for the state of odisha i came across a scientist from canada professor anjan pradhan who made a presentation before me and said that if we can use blue green algae then under laboratory conditions it has a potential of absorbing up to 100 tons per acre per year but that's in a laboratory scale what is he saying uh, saying that that algae that blue green algae only requires sunlight and uh, uh, carbon dioxide for uh, its um, growing under normal circumstances algae biomass would multiply its body mass every 30 days but if the algae is allowed to grow in a very rich carbon dioxide environment it has a very high potential of tolerating carbon dioxide then it can multiply body mass even in 24 hours so it can be accelerated 30 times the growth of blue green algae so professor pradhan told me that he has developed a technology in which he would force carbon dioxide in water so that it get absorbed you know carbon dioxide very much soluble in water uh, i was impressed by the proposal i wanted to that so i persuaded nalco nalco is a responsible public sector organization who i talked to the management of nalco and said that would you allow us some land in your thermal power plant for taking up this experiment in the field conditions what professor pradhan was talking of the laboratory condition so nalco in their thermal power plant in angul gave us a land of 0.2 acre small piece of land in which we constructed shallow ponds gave it the lining of a polythene lining about so that the sunlight can reach to the bottom then we lay pipelines uh, from their uh, thermal power plant 
and channelized carbon dioxide that was being released you know in the flue gas that is released from the thermal power plant about 13 percent is carbon dioxide so we cool down the gas and put it in the the shallow ponds and started growing this algae there is a certain process it's not that as simple that you put it and the algae grow so that process is my made and in the project of nearly two years what we could achieve was an on an average 32 tons of carbon dioxide per acre per year although we achieved a peak of 60 because of several reasons sometimes the flue gas was not available sometimes other things you couldn't run but on an average over the entire period we achieved an sequestration of 32 tons per acre per year compared to even one to two tons per acre per year by the tree community which is the only known source of direct carbon sequestration even 32 is good enough and there is a potential of growing to 60 70 80. as such it has a, a calorie content which is about 60 percent of that f grade coal so it can be straight co-processed with the coal and we can get back the energy from the algae as a substitute of coal but that would be the worst use what are the better uses you can make it as a fish feed animal feed and it can be processed to give spirulina spirulina is something which we are using the protein and in the pharmaceutical industries so if we can have this thing then this is a very high end use and I would say that this can become a completely economically viable project. Moreover, this algae can be processed to give the entire range of biofuel products, starting from your ethanol to petroleum product or biodiesel, and also making sense of this biodegradable plastics. That of the plastic is a major menace now. So it can produce biodegradable plastics. So what I feel that the entire process that is starting from absorption of carbon dioxide from the power plant to the production of algae and its utilization the whole thing can be a standalone economically viable green process it will be carbon dioxide it's a high rate of carbon sequestration and at the same time economically viable but this requires a lot of, uh, what you can say, experimentation and all that and economy of scale. Nalco experiment was in a very small land. This can be done in a bigger scale. So, this can be uh, used as a thing, our India's contribution in the global war against temperature rise.